Hey guys, it's your girl Patrika. Welcome back to my channel. So we are back with a vlog. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't spoke to you guys in so long. There is so much that I have to update you guys on. I'm super excited to just be vlogging and just talking to you guys about what's been going on. And you guys are going to be coming with me today because your girls do have a wood therapy session. Plus I'm going to the mall. I have a lot of things going on. So I'm like, I miss you guys so much. So we are back with another vlog. This is your first time here. Make sure you follow your girl on Instagram at glamdoll underscore patrika follow your girl to stay updated and so that we can you know be friends instagram and follow your girl so anyways today is monday october 31st so it is halloween halloween and this year your girl is not dressing up i was planning on dressing up but so much has been going on that i haven't even been able to get a costume i know i can run to the halloween store real fast and get a costume today but i'm just like i'm just so over it i'm just ready for this halloween thing to be over because i wasn't able to get a costume but <clears throat> but it is monday and right now my main focus is just really preparing for the next two months november and december as we already know 2022 is almost coming to an end so i really want to end off this year on a good note so i've just really been focused on my health my physical health my mental health my emotional health this my finances just everything all aspects of patrika i've really been focusing on and so just to start off the next two months on a good note i did book a wood therapy session so um, my appointment is like in an hour so you guys are going to come along with me and i'm also thinking about going to the mall because i really want to pick up some pieces for fall winter like some basics i think i'm gonna go into aritzia and zara and then i also want to i have to stop at the vitamin store to pick up some probiotics and then i also want to stop and get my ici bowl now your girl is going to be 10 months post-op yes 10 months and there's so many things i have to tell you guys like um, when it comes to BBL, even 10 months afterwards, I am still falling in love with my body every day. And my body is still changing. I finally reached a point where my butt is fluffing now. My curves is fluffing now. But one thing that I really want to focus on is keeping the waist snatched. Because listen here, if you don't eat right, if you don't stay on top of your post-op routine, if you don't stick in that faha, listen here, your body will not look the same. And so I'm really adamant about the last two months of 2022. Um getting back in my faha and um and this is why i'm also starting back the wood therapy but when it comes to doing the wood therapy i only plan on going like twice a month because these sessions are pretty pricey like my session today is a hundred dollars but a wood therapy session could be anywhere from a hundred dollars to 120 so obviously i don't want to do this two times a week because then i'll be spending like eight hundred dollars a month on wood therapy sessions and that's just ridiculous so i'm really staying to like two times a month do wood therapy on top of exercise eating right because listen here we have to maintain the body like one thing about me i don't want my money to go to waste but um right now i do have on these leggings these black leggings it's kind of it has like some tears at the side let me show you guys i have on but right now, I do have on this black tank top and then these le black leggings. And let me show you guys the back. And this is what the body is looking like. As you can see, the waist is super snatched. Once I get to my wood therapy session, I am going to be vlogging as well. By the way, I am going to Estrella's Dream Spa. I'm going to have the Instagram name right here because when it comes to my... um body contouring post-op services i only go to two places in miami and the two places that i go to is either Estrella's dream spa or body by zunilda those are the only two places that i personally go to like if i would if i was to do a round two or anything those are the only two places that i would go for my post-op massages there's also one other lady that's also good but she is located hours hours away but as far as miami location those are the only two places i will go and so we're about to head there. I'm so excited. I'm going to be real with you guys. The last time that I've gotten a wood therapy session was March, April. Like, it's been a minute, okay? It's been a minute. So, I'm super excited. And like I said, I'm just getting back into routine for the end of the year. Um...
Nationals. So it is after my wood therapy session and it went so amazing. I really love Australia's Dream Spa. They are A1, customer service amazing, services amazing. I actually ran into one of my subscribers at the spa. I met one of my subscribers. That's my first time ever meeting a subscriber and it was so amazing. She was so sweet. Anyways, I'm not at a tour mall right now because your girl wants to run into Aritzia, Zara, and maybe H&M to pick up some fall basics. And so right now, I'm just getting an ICI bowl just to give me some energy while I shop because your girl have not eaten all day. And so I'm just gonna run in, pick up some items, eat my bowl, and then I will see you guys once I'm at the house. Oh, thank you. Um, my bowl actually just came. It looks so delicious. But I'm gonna see you guys once I'm at the house and talk to you guys more about my wood therapy and everything. But look at the bowl. I've been so addicted to these acai bowls. Like they are so healthy, so delicious. And so I'm just gonna eat that right now and then run into the mall, do what I have to do, and then I'll talk to you guys once I'm back at the house. day or two later i can't really remember where i ended up the vlog i think i was leaving the mall but you guys i did have a successful shopping day i got some stuff from zara and i also got some stuff from nordstrom all the stuff that i got from nordstrom was um scams so you guys you no longer need to wait or order online because nordstrom do sell scams and i was so excited the only thing is the sizes a lot of stuff in my size but i was still able to grab some stuff so i'm like that is so exciting and i'm going to show you guys what i also got from zara um i just decided to buy some fall pieces because you guys know it's fall right now and plus winter is coming up so i had a really good shopping um the other day and once I get back to the house, I'm going to show you guys. But right now, I have to run a Target. And as you guys can see, I'm also back in my Faha. Um, these next two months, I'm committed to wearing my Faha again. Because to be honest, I'm going to be like honest with you guys. I've just been going through some stuff the last three months. August, September, October. I've really just been going through some stuff. And when I've just been on my Instagram, my archive, and just seeing like what life was like before and just like how i was very consistent with my faha like i was just like so consistent with so many things eating right just even my content that i was posting i was so consistent so it was like for the for the last two months of 2022 i want to get back to being consistent i want to get back to my faha i want to get back to eating healthy i want to get back to posting you know good content for you dolls i just want to get back to me so i feel like me going shopping um actually like started that journey because of me getting back to myself you know back to working a lot just like i'm just basically just getting back to me just getting back to patrika i feel like in life there's always going to come a point where you go through stuff everybody goes through stuff in life but it's how you handle it is what matters like get back to doing you even when i um watch my stories on my archive and everything how disciplined i was with so many things it's like okay yeah the last three months have been like really stressful and hard but guess what there's two more months left of 2022 and we're gonna get right back on track 
and so um that's just what i've just been doing so i'm just excited for that anyways i am going to target because i want to pick up some groceries um i just i'm kind of over just eating out so much and junk food and everything don't get me wrong my shape and figure still looks nice but it's like i just don't want to when you eat good you feel good so it's like i just want to start eating more healthy so we're gonna go to target i'm gonna bring you guys along with me of course i have a list and everything i also have a couple errands to run i have to stop at the bank to deposit some money that i made over the weekend for my job and um i always make sure to write down everything i need to do so we're gonna head to target i'm gonna show you guys what kind of foods i've been eating to feed the fat i do have a separate video on my channel of me telling you guys the foods that i eat but i feel like actually bringing you guys to the grocery store with me and you know just showing you what's really good to eat post op will be so amazing so we're about to head out right now and by the way today is november 2nd and it is tuesday so i'm excited for that i also have another beauty procedure that well it's like a non-invasive procedure i'm still debating on if i want to vlog it or not um just because like i just cannot stand negative comments negativity but i'm gonna wait until i get the actual procedure rather than the non-invasive procedure if that makes sense but yeah just a lot going on but anyways i'll see you guys once i reach target let's head out of here so I just got to Target and oh my gosh, they have all the Christmas stuff up right now, like Christmas decorations, they got onesies, pajamas, like we are really entering the holiday season. So I'm just going to look around, even though you guys know that I'm here for groceries, but I'm going to see what kind of pajama sets they have. I really want to like be very festive this year, so but Christmas is definitely one of my favorite seasons. But um, anyways, let's head over to the grocery section because that's going to have my own family one day because one thing about me when it comes to Thanksgiving, Christmas, like I'm going to be like so festive. Like me, my husband and my baby, we're going to be dressing up. We're going to be having like pajama parties and all of that and, and buy some groceries. two days later i'm actually getting ready for work right now and i'm like you know what let me come on camera to talk to you dolls while i do my makeup get ready to head out for work today is friday by the way so the weekend is starting up i usually make the most weekend i usually make the most money on the weekends and so i definitely have to take my butt to work tonight but as, as you guys can see i i wrapped up my wig do you guys remember when we used to go to the dominican salons i haven't been to the, the I haven't been to the Dominican salon in Mad Long, but when I used to have a, a relaxer, I used to go and when, whenever they would do a fresh perm, they will wrap it. That's what I did with this wig because I really want that like, I really want like that natural Dominican look. And so that's what it's gonna give. When I take these pins out, my hair is gonna be like really bumped and look nice. So this is definitely giving Dominican blowout the way I wrapped it, but <laughs> trying to figure out what's really my next move 
have a lot of dolls a lot of you dolls may not know this but i did have my own cosmetics business i started my own online business when i was like 21 and so um that was some years ago and that was my main source of income um i was also doing my online business plus i was um like working in the beauty industry jobs i was working at a hair salon sephora like anything beauty related is what i was basically doing i kind of reached the point i was also doing makeup as well but i kind of reached the point where i'm like um don't get me wrong i love makeup but i'm more like an editorial type of girl because editorial makeup and fashion go hand in hand so that was always what i was more interested in but i kind of reached the point where i'm like i don't really makeup is not really my thing anymore don't get me wrong i love it but like i have i have a love for the art of makeup if that makes sense so when i'm if i'm watching a fashion show right now and i'm seeing a model walk down and they have an editorial makeup look i love that i'm here for it but as far as me being a makeup artist doing makeup every day me running an online makeup line it's just not really me and i feel like it's okay to have different phases of your life like that was my makeup phase and it's like i'm just kind of over that so right now i'm just kind of figuring around like what really makes me happy because you know any type of business adventure that i go on it has to be something that i have a passion for that really makes me happy and so that's kind of just what i've been like trying to figure out and that's why i've just been getting so i guess you could say content with just working in the club because I'm making good money and it's like at the same time I'm still able to just relax because running a business is is a lot of work it is a lot of work do not let anybody tell you that it's not a lot of work because it is so to be honest I've been loving not running a business because I'm just able to go to work make a lot of money and on my days off relax like just live a soft life and I feel like for my mental health it's amazing I'm not even gonna lie it's amazing. I don't have to stress about getting orders every day. I don't have to be on Instagram hours and oh my gosh, it's just so much behind it. But I'm also reaching a point where I was like, I, you know, I suddenly want to transition, start working in the club. So, you know, I'm definitely going to go back to being an entrepreneur again. So, people that tell me, like, oh you should make like club vlogs and stuff but i'm like i really don't want to go down that lane because i know if i start making that type of content i'm gonna start attracting you know maybe other girls that work in a club and that type of audience and i know that this is not something that i'm gonna be doing for much longer so i don't want to build up that type of brand brand and i'll stick with it you know what i'm saying and plus there's not really much to, to vlog so any girl that has ever been a bartender, bottle girl, or a dancer, like, you you guys know, like, there's only so much you can blog in that type of environment. Yeah, you make money and stuff, but I feel like I feel like the content for that type of stuff is not really, you know, what I want to, what I want to show. So, but I'm more so, I've just been loving the content that I've been having now, like the BBL, my surgery journeys. Um, there is some other stuff that I'm getting done, so I would love to document that for you dolls and show you guys because I feel like this is really a lane where a lot of women are not transparent, so I'm okay with being transparent, so I feel like this is more my lane, lifestyle, you know, fashion, surgery, self-care, me.